This is the new 5.0 starter set. Uh, we're at Newcastle Comics and Games in Maryland Heights, St. Louis, Missouri. Um, we got this obviously a little bit for the street date. Uh, we're not going to say name names or anything like that, but thank you. Thank you to the person that let us have it before street date. And we're going to go ahead and open it and see what's inside. All right, so we're going to start with the plastic wrap. That is actually the first time that I have ever successfully popped open plastic wrap on a box. That is really impressive. Let's go ahead and get the plastic wrap off. Explore subterranean labyrinths, plunder, hordes of treasure, battle legendary monsters! Um, what if you don't want a legendary monster? What if you just want like a, a little close up there? Is that, and let's go ahead and open this up. There you go. There's your dice. Those are actually some really nice looking dice. They are not standard blue like I thought they were. I figured they would just be regular, like, uh, standard blue. These are swirled blue, black and blue. Very, very nice. White lettering. I like those. Here's your starter set rule book. Um, definitely a glossy. Very nice. I like the indexes on the front of the rule book rather than on the inside. Uh, it even has a picture of your dice and all that. As expected, the artwork is just as good as any of the other previous editions. Really comprehensive rules on how to run it. I like how the rules themselves have illustrations. That's kind of nice. Usually the rule set is just the rules themselves. Yeah. Well, extra, extra illustrations, adventuring rules, weapons. Really nice, actually. This is easily worth $20 by itself. And then there's the Lost Mine of Fandelver. The tw age is 12 and up, apparently. You, you apparently can't, you can't play this if you're under the age of 12 because you will explode like an excited fruit. An excited fruit that is rolling dice. So yeah, here's the, the fan delver. We don't really need to, hey, right, nice map. I am a little bummed out that there aren't any big maps, like big unfoldable maps for this campaign. At least I don't think there are. We'll see. So yeah, there's a dragon. Anyway, so that's, that's fan delver. There's the back. Index on the back, very nice, perfect. Exactly what you need. Very good stuff, good stuff, good stuff. And here's the new character sheets with all of your pre-gens. Obviously you've got your, your fighter, your wizard, your rogue, and your, your soldier. So, pretty good. I love the new character sheets. Very nice, very well organized. They're a little bit dense, but you know what? The, inf the irrelevant information is right smack in the middle in this nice little box. So that's the best part about it is it's all, it's all really well organized. Um, and then here's your, what I was hoping for is the D&D Encounters um, notice, the flyer for it, because they haven't really talked much about this. So this is, this is actually a very nice comprehensive box. Really well made, and there's extra space. Which is really nice. When you take this out, what? Oh, oh hey, another character sheet of some kind. I don't know what this is for. I don't know what that is. Yeah, I don't know what that's for. That's interesting. And it's actually uh, like a glossy, so you can um, dry erase, it looks like. So yeah, wow, really nice setup. And the box is, again, Really high quality, good stuff. A little bit, a little bit, a little bit around the corners. A little the adhesive's obviously not great, but still, really good all around. Especially the dice. It's worth it for the dice and the rules alone. Really, honestly, it is. For only twenty bucks. So that's it. That's your that's your new that's your new starter box. And then tomorrow, probably at midnight tonight, we're gonna see the PDF land, the basic PDF, and that's gonna be the real exciting stuff. So yeah, there you go. That's your unboxing.